And now you can see why President Reagan's missile defense plan, strategic defense initiative, was the proverbial bullet between the eyes that ended the Cold War. Look, the Russians knew SDI could be made to work. Not tomorrow, not next week, not in a decade, maybe not in 20 years, but they knew missile defense could be made to work. It was their scientists who actually invented the idea. So they knew that if we launched a missile defense program, we could do it. Except we could afford to do it because under President Reagan's leadership, the US economy was on the verge of the greatest economic boom in modern history. And they were on the verge of collapse. And if they had to match our missile defense program, they'd be bankrupt overnight. And this is what the president's critics never understood when they sneeringly referred to missile defense, SDI, as Star Wars. I was sitting in an interesting chair at the time and had an interesting perception on all this. President Reagan gave that famous televised speech in which he announced missile defense on March 23rd, 1983. The next morning, March 24th, I was in my office and I was looking through the overnight traffic coming in from Moscow. Everything had changed. The Kremlin understood in a nanosecond that President Reagan had just fired the fatal shot. There was complete panic in the Kremlin and in the military establishment. Now what do we do? And by the way, President Reagan used to describe missile defense as a shield over the United States. The man was a political genius. It was a lid over the Soviet Union. <laughs> it meant that missiles weren't going to fly. And I was sitting there reading this intelligence, and again, Less than 24 hours after the speech, the Kremlin knew it was over. And at one point, I just put down all the cables, got a cup of coffee, and I picked up the morning editions of the Washington Post and the New York Times to see what they were saying about the president's speech. <laughs> what they were saying is the amiable idiot in the White House had now finally <laughs> lost contact with reality. It was an extraordinary change between the cables coming in from Moscow and the Washington Post. Yeah? <laughs> 